What's going on, guys? All oh, muscle. I uh, got a uh, 2006 Mercedes. It's a CDI. It's my wife's car. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video. Uh, she had a, a check engine light come on, and uh, I've already pulled the scan tool out and scanned the vehicle. Uh, came up with a uh, uh, glow plug light. It's basically it's uh, it's for the glow plug, uh, and it's showing the uh, number two. <clears throat> that number six glow plugs being faulty okay so basically what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna pull the plugs actually uh, more specifically number two and number six so the way these plugs go is uh, number one is at the front of the motor two three and so on all the way to number six uh, and then if you have a Sometimes on the wiring harness it'll show here, like this one here. I don't know if you can see that, but it shows a number, shows a number two. That's upside down, but you get it. So it'll show you on the on the harness. But anyways, it's basically number one to six. We're gonna pull those out and take a look at them. Okay. Uh, before you do that, you might want to actually warm up the vehicle because these glow plugs uh, sometimes don't like to come out so easily. So you want to have the vehicle warmed up. Uh, so everything's expanded and also uh, there's a small if you look around the glow plug it looks like a uh, this is a plug right there so first off you're going to remove the electrical plug to that and that just pops right up uh, but there's a cavity there uh, and you'd like uh, to, to make it easier uh, you might want to let that sit for a couple of hours uh, with a uh, penetrating lubricant okay so that's uh, just a couple of tips there warm up the vehicle penetrating lubricant and if you break one of those plugs in there that's going to be a huge problem so you don't want to do that okay uh, but anyways um, I'm going to stop the video here we're going to warm up the car we're going to pull the plugs and then uh, we're going to get back to it from there okay so anyways uh, glow plug issue number two number six got a check engine light on uh, we pulled the code with the scan tool I don't want to bore you with that but uh, anyways, uh, that's what we've got. Uh, again, we're going to stop the video here. We're going to start it back up uh, once the vehicle is warmed up and uh, the, pl uh, the plugs are out. Okay, so uh, we'll go from there at that point. All right, so uh, <clears throat> hang on to that for me. Okay, so what we did is we had a little uh, situation where a couple of these glow plugs were frozen. I'll show you that here in a second. So uh, quick point. Uh, if you want to take these glow plugs out, uh, make sure the car is warmed up. So we had to stall out the video a little bit. So we warmed up the car to uh, operating temperature. Uh, and then we uh, sprayed some uh, penetrating lubricant uh, in the uh, ports there. Uh, and then as it was running, it warmed up and we were able to pull the plugs out. Now there was a few plugs. I'm going to take you over here and show you how to test these. Number one and number two. Uh, these this plug here if you see it's it's blackened so this one here was a little seized okay this one was hard to pull uh, if these break off in the cylinder head that's an entirely different problem uh, so you definitely want to be careful uh, taking them out take your time be patient uh, penetrating lubricant here is uh, your best friend and warming up the vehicle uh, to uh, get it to operating temperature and uh, making sure you know all the metals have expanded uh, and give you the the uh, you know the best um, possible uh, situation for pulling and removing these types of, of plugs here so uh, these three here uh, these came out no issues these two here were a little bit uh, a little bit stuck this one here was by far the most stuck and the way i have these uh, organized here is from the front of the vehicle this is number one two three uh, all the way to number six so <clears throat> let's get on here with the testing so again with your multimeter you want to set it up here to ohms okay and then use the body of the glow plug with the negative positive lead up top and you want to be like one point i'd say probably 1.6 is the max but be patient because this thing likes to jump around a little bit and sometimes if it's jumping around too much then the glow plug is just it's out of, it's just out of whack so uh if it's if it's jumping around too much, then you, you might as well replace it. But if you can get it to steady up like there. 
This one's kind of jumping around, but looks like it wants to be steady anywhere between 0.9 oh, to maybe a 1.1. So I would say this is a good plug. It may be on its way out, but I would, uh, I would still run this a little bit. Again, uh, if you want to just go ahead and change all the plugs and uh, be done with it, that's another uh, point. That you, I mean, you can you can definitely do that, but the uh, you know I like to get maximum usage out of things. See this one here? This one is is just jumping around. It's way out of line, and we switched over to kilo ohms here. So this is uh, this is this is the number two unit, and if you remember on the scan tool, this one here was reading bad. Uh, let's just go back to number three. So number three. Okay, we're starting to get within range here. This one here is in range. It's a little a little high, I would say. Well, it's jumping around too much. I think I don't have a good position on this. There, we probably want to see that. That's that's probably what we're looking at. I would run this still. This one's still solid. We didn't have a light for that either. Um, I'm going to show you another tip here. If you don't want to remove these, and you, if you don't, if you don't have a scan tool, number one, uh, and you, uh, if you just want to see what glow plugs are bad without removing them and uh, having them in the vehicle, uh, I'll show you that too here in a second. Okay, here, so we're we're, we're within range. You just got to get a good solid uh, contact on it. And some of these uh, glow plugs are a little dirty and whatnot, so you may, may want to clean them and get a good re solid reading. But that point nine there, that's a solid plug. <coughs> And then I'll show you also the the meter has uh, a, a plus or minus. Uh, I'll show you here how to. They're, they're, so these are technically like this one, for example, is not reading a 1.1 or a 1.0 uh, because of the meter. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean by that here in a second. And this is the last one. This is number six. This is the uh, other one that we had a light for. And then this one here, way out of line, way too high there. And it's not bad. I've seen these uh, come back at like 100, 150. So this one's, I mean, it's its bad, but it's not terrible. I've, I've seen worse. So uh, you take these uh, leads and you put them together. It's kind of, should settle down here. Maybe my meter's tired, but it should settle down about 1.1 or 0.2. I may have a tired meter. Oh, I might have to get a new meter, but uh, this should be a little, a little, a little lower uh, because es essentially you're going to want to take that number off the actual figure that you got. And if that's the case, then all these, uh, all these uh, don't have a good reading. Here we go. Uh, maybe my, maybe my leads are bad. Here we go. That's like, that's more like it. Point three sounds, sounds more like it actually. Maybe I need a cleaner, sand down my leads or something. But anyways, um, you want to see probably anywhere between a 0 0.7, 0 0.8, uh, all the way up to a 1.6, I would say. And then if it's anything higher than a 1.6, um, you probably want to replace it. Uh, as, as, as what I see here, uh, and then especially with this meter acting wonky, I may have uh, these values a little bit off. But uh, on your meter here, you should see like a 0.2 or 0.3. Uh, and again, you would, if this tested in at, a, let's say, a 1.6, you would take that off the 1.6, and you'd end up with a, a 1.3. Uh, and then that would be essentially a good plug. So, uh, and a quick one here, just before I let you go. Now, we're going to replace all these. Um, I, I don't like the uh, readings on a lot of these. I think these two here were OK. Uh, I'm going to run a test on them again. And uh, I might keep uh, two of these or so, but I have I have like seven or eight. Anyways, okay. So if this is in the vehicle and you don't have a scan tool, uh, it's going to be covered up until this point, and the only thing that's going to be visible because these uh, threads here are going to be inside the head. So the only thing going to be visible to you is is this nut here, uh, and the top of the uh, the electrode here on the top of the on the top of the plug. So. Uh, when it's out of the vehicle, you have this whole area to work with, which is called the body. Uh, you can use that, but this part here is also part of the body, and you could use that if you're testing it inside the vehicle. So you would just make sure that your lead is not contacting uh, the stainless up here, the metal, 
uh, and hit the top lead on the on the top there and then there you will get your reading and you are sitting at a 1.2 and take off the 0.4 I would say I guess on this meter it was looking pretty rough so uh, you're looking at a 0.8 on that okay so that's that's how you would test that inside the vehicle this was number one okay all right well anyways um let me conclude this video so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in here and do some cleanup work uh i'm going to install all the plugs uh put the uh the wire leads back on uh, and then i'm going to go in and erase the uh, i'm going to erase the code in the uh control module and then we'll wrap up this video here but uh, that's pretty much if you're looking at uh, doing any uh, work on your glow plug system uh, that's basically how you test them or you could just uh, you know if you don't have any tools such as the ohm meter or um, uh, or the uh, multimeter uh, you can probably just get in there and take the plugs out and just toss them and put new plugs in if you feel that there's an issue with them uh, there's also uh, testing that you can do on the module uh, because there's a timeout on the module, the module is going to send power uh, to the glow plugs for a certain amount of time. Okay, and that's uh, what that's going to do uh, is it's going to shut the glow plug once the once the vehicle has started and uh, it's going. Basically, uh, it's going to shut the, the the power to the glow plugs off because they're no longer needed. So there, that's a separate thing. You uh, if you want to learn how to test the module, there's a ton of uh, videos on that. Uh, maybe in the future when I have an issue with the module. Uh, or a module issue, I can uh, I can uh, show you how to test that. But that basically uh, there's a timeout on it. You look up uh, you know how much the uh, time uh, allotment on the on the particular vehicle is, uh, and uh, you'll see if that uh, module is sending the power for that amount of time, how much power the module is sending, uh, and so on. So that's a separate video. That's just a quick breakdown of of what that is. But anyways, we're gonna get this put together because uh, looks like we might uh, I don't know, be catching some rain. So I'm gonna get that uh, done before. Uh, any of that happens and i'm going to go over here and grab some of this uh, warm-up sauce and continue uh, my adventure here but anyways guys uh this i haven't seen you guys in a long time uh you guys stay safe be cool and hopefully if that uh, video helped out uh, hopefully it uh, helps somebody out and uh you guys um, i'm going to try to make some more videos i got a ton of shit here going on uh, but uh, just not enough time so uh, i'm going to try to make some more videos for you guys uh, hopefully, uh, again, uh, this video helped you guys out. This is my other CDI. Uh, I love these cars, actually. These are the cars that I drive around. I get 35 miles to the gallon on these cars. Uh, so there's uh, really, uh, you know, uh, nothing else that I drive around on, on a daily basis. I mean, I got a ton of shit. I got 17, 18 cars, uh, and these are the ones I actually choose to drive. Uh, I love the cars. Uh, great power, uh, great comfort, uh, gas mileage, everything all in one. So. Uh, again, I'm going to let you guys go, get this buttoned up, and uh, you guys stay safe, be cool, and I'll see you on the next one.